Hey, what up everyone, and welcome to another video by Simovations. I'm Simovations. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, welcome, please subscribe. If you missed last week's video, you can click the clickable R button above. So, today we're going to be doing a video in honor of World Mental Health Awareness Day, which is the 10th of October. Now, last year I did a video where I spoke about anxiety and rejection sensitive dysphoria or RSD. This year I decided I want to do another video like I did last year and this year I'm going to be focusing on one and that is ADHD. ADHD does affect a lot of people and that is why I wanted to talk about this. So what is ADHD? ADHD is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It is a mental health condition that can cause unusual levels of hyperactivity and impulsive behaviors. People with ADHD may also have a trouble focusing their attention on a single task or sitting still for extended periods of time. Many people experience inattention and changes in energy levels. For a person with ADHD, this happens more often and to a greater extent compared with people who don't have the condition. It can have a significant effect on their studies, work, life, and home. Both adults and children can have ADHD. It is more often discovered in children when you're a child. It, you can be discovered in you later in life, but it's generally found out earlier when you're a child. And now I'm going to show you a few TikToks that I found explaining a lot about it. So, let's begin. I just don't understand why you can't finish one task before moving on to the next. Okay, imagine your brain is a doctor's office and all of the people in the waiting room are tasks that need to be done. So a normal brain would have, say, 10 chairs in the waiting room and the doctor would see the patients based on importance, right? Okay. Okay, but for me, there's only one chair in the waiting room that all the patients have to fight for. Most of them just leave because they're tired of fighting. And by the way, the doctor only sees the patients that it wants to. Oh. Yeah, so if I don't do a task immediately, it's likely not going to happen. Hey, remember that important thing? No, what was it? All you need to know is that it's important, so we should do it right now. I'm kind of in the middle of something. See, but if you don't do it right now, I'm probably never going to remind you again, and you're just not going to do it. Fine, but make it quick. I need to get back to this. So is now a bad time to tell you about the other things? We're not doing a task from start to finish today, are we? No, definitely not today. Why do you only do things to an extreme level or not at all? The all or nothing principle. The what? You know there's two kinds of light switches, one of them you just click on and off, and the other one is dimmable? Yeah. Okay, think of people's interest in a task like a light switch. Most people's are dimmable, so they can adjust how interested they are in it, but mine, it just flicks on or off. I'm either utterly obsessed with the idea of something, or I have zero interest. But you can control when it goes on and off, right? <laughs> uh, oh, you're, you're... No, no, I cannot. Just go to a quiet place alone without anything like your phone that can distract you. Go to a public location and pretend that everyone is watching you and seeing if you're being productive. The external pressure and need for competition will motivate you to do your work. Just clean and organize as you go and your house will always be spotless. Get your favorite hype up playlist and assign a task to each song and make it a competition to get that task done before the song ends. I'm starving. Let's go to the kitchen get some food. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go to the fridge. Oh, I still didn't put away the rest of the groceries. Okay, let's get that done quick. I'm starving. Bread. Let's grab the bread. Maybe I'll eat oh, bread. I forgot tortillas again. I want a quesadilla. Okay, whatever. I'll get them next time. What's that one song that's just so boring? What's next? What's next? I could make a smoothie. Smoothies are really good. Is that bowl still sitting there? Okay, I wonder how long it's been sitting there. Oh, look at those pretty flowers. The colors are so summer. nice. I think you could use some water though. Let's go water them. The flowers. Don't drop it. Wonder how easily it would break. Is the vase even glass? Okay, maybe it didn't break it. Don't, don't get any on your hands. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't get any on your hands. Don't miss. 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 Such a gross feeling. Water. Perfect. Oh. Uh, does that only have one pill left? Why do I do this every time? Oh, I forgot to call the pharmacy. I pharmacy. Okay, I need to do that. Write it down, 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 write it down. 
Pig. Whenever the etymology of the word pills is. I'm not orthodontist, it's Greek. Nice. Gotta do that. Oh, print form before meeting. meeting. Don't forget the meeting. I have that meeting soon. I should really go and get ready for that. So much work. Maybe it comes from the Latin word pilla. That would I feel be like sense, I'm forgetting right? something. Flowers, flowers. I need to go and put the flowers back. things people with ADHD want you to know. They want you to know about body doubling. People with ADHD do a lot better with potentially frustrating tasks simply when someone else is around. You don't even have to help them with the task. Just having your body around as a calm reflection will make whatever the task is a lot more manageable for them. Two, they want you to understand their doom boxes and doom piles. So I used to refer to them as shit piles, but my husband introduced me to a much better name for them, which is Doom Piles, which is actually an acronym for Didn't Organize, Only Moved. The reason that people with ADHD have a tendency to create these doom boxes and doom piles is because they experience strained executive function, which is the cognitive process responsible for self-regulation. A person with ADHD is always going to rely on the doom method because it's a comfortable interim between tidying processes. It's a place to rest. We actually try to keep a doom area in every room of the house. And three, they want you to know about rejection sensitivity dysphoria. People with ADHD know they're different and often become very sensitive to the criticism and judgment of others. This can look like cleaning only when no one else is around so that there's no one around to criticize their methods. It can create these very anxious or reactionary responses when they anticipate that rejection is coming. People with ADHD can often fluctuate between phases of extreme people pleasing all the way to just not even wanting to try anymore. People with ADHD are in a constant state of fear of being scrutinized by the outside world and could benefit from a little bit more positive reinforcement than you might ordinarily give. And that's three more things people with ADHD want you to know. Bubby, help me understand your cleaning. Go on. So you're happiest in a clean environment, but you don't clean? Yep. You don't like all the doom piles all over the house, but I'm not allowed to touch them. No, you are not. And if you do clean, you won't just do a quick tidy, you'll focus on one area and I'll find you scrubbing it with a toothbrush. Well, if I'm going to do it, it has to be perfect. You really don't mind living in mess, but if anybody comes to visit, you'll be like turbo cleaning. Wait, what? Who's coming? Here are all the negative side effects of ADHD that I can name in 60 seconds, let's go. We organize everything messily. Our emotions get dysregulated, which means that they're spinning out of control. We will eat the exact same meal over and over again, and for many of us, that happens to be Oreos. The double stuffed kind is the best. Scheduling is incredibly difficult for us. I have an assistant for a reason. We get hyper-focused on the silliest freaking things. Then buy way too many of that said thing. Why? Because we're irresponsible with our money and we like the dopamine hit. Which leads to us buying more silly things like putting googly eyes on a Roomba. And our vocal cords do not have an off switch, which means we talk about everything. Word of advice? Don't tell us what you're interested in, we'll know everything about it. And we practically have googly eyes all of the time because we can't focus on anything. Oh, shiny. When am I gonna put these damn earrings in? And no matter how many times we try to text or call you on time, it's always super early or super late. <sighs> all right, I think that's all of them. Follow for more. So like I said, if you wanna know more, go and check out more videos. The videos on TikTok, go check out, just go and look online, there are tons of books you can find. Um, I will leave a few websites down below on, on ADHD. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, subscribe for more awesome content like this. I will see you guys all next week. Bye.